I'm going to tell you some stuff, and I'm talking to homeowners. Other roofers are going to hate me for this. We're going to do uh, poop roofing as the title, and boy, have I got a treat for you. Man, oh man, you're going to love to see. All right, this right here is a dormer, okay? Like we got this roof and then this dormer pops up. It's got a window on the front and this is your ridge cap right here where the two planes meet at the top. That's the ridge and it comes to here and meets on this roof. These two pieces of trim are called valleys, okay? This is all very important, hang with me. So your two valleys meet at the top and then that, that ridge meets at the top. This leaks a lot right here. So if you got a house with a dormer on it, and you got two valleys on it that meet up there, that's a really high area of leaks. When people have leaks on metal roofs and they got a dormer, it's almost always leaking up here. Okay? So guess what happens when I move this back? The valleys don't even touch. Okay? That valley stops right there. That one stops right there. About two and a half inches away. This is, I can't make this stuff up, people. Use a tube of silicone and don't even do a good job putting the silicone down. Like, what a disrespectful way to use silicone, even. Um, so, basically, if I put this back on here like it was before, water's just running right behind there. Boom! Right underneath the valley. This has been leaking for so long, it's ridiculous. What needs to happen here is both of these need to meet up at the top and this piece is actually going to come to like there and this piece is going to come to there. They're going to overlap up above to give you some material and then the points are going to meet like that and you fold one over and this is, this is important. I do two different styles. I can do it two different ways. One, I can caulk it and that lasts a pretty long time. We're talking maybe like 25 years, that's my limited lifetime style. And then I can make those two join together without using any caulk, so it's never gonna leak. That's my lifetime style. And depending how much you wanna pay me is how good I'll do it. So if you wanna be cheap and go with a cheap product, you're gonna get cheap work. And that's how I price my stuff. If you wanna do the good package that I'm offering you, I'll do the good work along with it. That was free. Bonus. Back to this. Um, ask your contract, ask, ran out of space, so I had to go delete some stuff. Um, when you're getting a bid for a metal roof on your house and you know you have an area where these two valleys meet together like that, it doesn't have to be a dormer, but anywhere where two valleys meet together at the top, ask him and say, hey, um, do you have some pictures of where those two valleys meet together so I can see how that looks? And most guys like to take pictures of their work when they're proud of it. If they're not proud of it, they're not going to take a picture. So right then and there, you can determine if he's proud of his work or not, and you want him to be proud. Um, if he's proud, he's going to do a good job. That's typically your standard. Um, and I'm going to post a picture of what this is going to look like if I do it, and that'll give you um, a good idea of, of what you're looking at when you look at that stuff. So, yeah. Don't do it like this. That's, oh my gosh, okay. If I did it like this, it'd take me like 30 seconds to do this. So easy. I can cut that in my sleep. And if I join them together and use caulking, it's probably going to take me about 10 minutes. And if I it together without caulking, it's probably going to take 20 minutes. Um, so that gives you an idea of what you're paying for. Not just time, but knowledge, skill, and experience. And is it worth it? I don't know. Is it worth it for your roof not to leak and to not have to pay somebody to come out and fix what was done the first time? Because, let's be honest, the material costs the same amount of money, and now it's probably going to take four times as long to do it once the roof is already on versus doing it the first time when you're actually doing the install.